Hello and welcome to Architects Workshop India. I am the SketchUp version of Ronak Sudhakar, here to talk to you about what a fun, simple and versatile software it really is. Let's get started, shall we? Do you see a bunch of buttons? This collection of buttons is called a toolbar and each one of these buttons represents a particular tool. When I hover over any one of these buttons, I get the name of the tool itself, like line, eraser, rectangle, circle, and so on. I'm going to pick the tool rectangle by clicking on it and click on that and click again to create a rectangle. I now pick the push pull tool, click on this and move it upwards and click again to create a box out of the rectangle here. If I go to the edit menu, I can undo what I just did. I can also redo what I just undid. Picking the rectangle tool again, if I click on this corner, you'll notice that there is a green rectangle that shows up there. Clicking on it and I move it here. So I drew a rectangle on the face of the box. Now I use the push pull tool again by clicking on it, selecting here and pulling it out and clicking again to stop the pulling. Now I pick the line tool. When I move to approximately the midway point of this section, it turns CN. So I click on it and then as I pull along, it kind of snaps to the other midpoint. So I click there. I now use the move tool to hover over the line, click it and then move upwards and click again. I now do the same thing, the same move tool. I hover over this edge, click it and move downwards. Click again. Using the rectangle tool, I'm going to draw a door and a window. Using the push-pull tool, I'll push the door a little inside and do the same thing with the window. Using the line tool, I'll draw a line along from this edge and you'll notice that it snaps again when it becomes horizontal to that green axis to the other edge and click again. Using the arc tool, I click here, the first point, the second point, and then third point to give it the radius. Click. Using the push pull tool, I click here and move it further. Clicking on the push-pull tool, I'll pull this even further here to create a porch. We use the line tool or the pencil tool. Click on that edge and click here. And if I go here, it kind of snaps to the previous line that I've drawn. So I click there and click there to create these two lines here. I now use the push pull tool again, but this time I click and don't just let go wherever. I move it to this point so it can snap to the bottom of the surface here. So I click. The same thing for the other support. I pull that down and click. Now using the move tool, let's 
move this tree by simply clicking on it and moving it somewhere around here. And we'll do the same thing with the person. Let's put him under the porch. And now let's color this by using the paint bucket. On clicking on the paint bucket, we get a material selection and a drop down box. Let's just use a few colors. Let's say I want my walls in that bright red. And notice that I'm using the middle mouse button to orbit. Let's make the roof a grey. There we go. View and shadows. This also brings us to this particular thing called the other toolbar. So let's go to the shadows toolbar and select that. And we can play with the sliders here to control the month and uh, the time of day. Let's just finish this particular line and you'll notice that I can use the wheel of the mouse to zoom in, to scroll, to zoom so to speak. I select here and click here and you'll notice that the dark line kind of disappeared. That is to say that it's a separate surface now and we'll see how we use that. If it is a separate surface, we can push pull that particular surface well separately. So clicking here, we can pull that out to create stairs. Let's click on this edge here to extend the slab all the way to this edge. Let's click there to extend it further. Let's use a line tool to click here to create, to make this a separate surface from this, which will allow us to pull this part out separately to create a deck. Let's pull the deck behind the house as well. Using the rectangle tool, let's create three supports. One, two, and three. And now using the push-pull tool, let's click and pull it to the bottom of the floor. So click, click, and click, click, and click. And that brings us to the end of our beginner tutorial on SketchUp. As you would have noticed, it is a very simple software to use with a simple set of tools, but it is very, very versatile in terms of even precision drawing as may be necessary, which we will cover in the next video. See you then.